what it's going to be like uh, Thursday night in Chicago. See, it'll be dusk. And then the, the Packers will swarm in. And it'll be uh, a bunch of snow yeah, in the background. It's, gonna, it's supposed to snow. Oh, I'm going to be there Thursday night. So this could be uh, – this will be what it'll be like Thursday. It'll be live from Chicago, a, a snowstorm. Well, Gene, I don't know. Oh, hello, sister. I don't know. I'm, I'm not supposed to do shout outs, but hello, sister. Gene, I don't know. Love you. I don't know what you're talking about, but as far as I'm concerned, oh. we're, we are already at. Uh, where are we at? Uh, Soldier, Soldier Field. Soldier Field, right there. And a beautiful Soldier Field it is. Hey. With a Greco art, art Roman style. Right, right. <laughs> Columns. That's why. That's why uh, in, the, in the the park owns it. So the Bears don't even own the stadium. And people, I said, why isn't there a statue of Walter Payton up? Now there's going to be one of him and George Hallis because they honor soldiers there. But there's a football stadium, too. So finally, I'm going to see their statues Thursday. I just want to ask the people of Chicago, please drop your ticket prices a little bit more because, oh, 400 for a ticket. Ew, that's... That's with fees. Well, we'll that's, uh, that's that's pushing. We'll, we'll talk about that uh, okay. later. Okay. Gene. We'll talk all sure. about that later, uh, including a uh, week one preview. Oh. Of the uh, Gene, do you have your headphones in? Okay. <laughs> all righty. <laughs> all right, Gene was a little bit distracted. <laughs> I'm so excited about. Uh, hey, yeah. what a great! Let me mention this too. I saw Ringo Starr last night. And his all-star band, and that was great. I've seen him before, but that was cool. And I saw the all Stray right. Cats got back together after 40 years. Pretty awesome. Go. All right, well, all right, this is the Midwest Sports Show. My name is uh, Chris Dotson, and Hello. that's Gene Steichen. We're Hello. a little bit uh, discombobulated because it's uh, it's Labor Day. Yeah, we're not supposed to be working. As we record this, yeah. Well, Gene, there is no, uh, there's no day off in the sports podcast right. uh, amateur uh, enthusiasm. Today. Enthusiast. And uh, we have a lot. Well, we don't have too much to talk about. We'll just do a little preview of the uh, baseball week ahead because uh, uh, quite a lot is going on. I'm trying to, I don't know what's going on with the stupid green screen. It's all oh, uh, – it just hope it's it, not too uh, distracting. But, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, so we'll talk about uh, some latest baseball news. And then uh, we got a little week one preview oh, okay. of the uh, NFL. Finally, Gene, after months and months and months since February 6th of no football, Football returns. Oh, there you are. It's it's here. Well, actually, college is already here, which is fantastic. I did not watch a single snap of uh, college football. You missed out. You missed the Badgers. <laughs> well, they then they beat up on like Central Florida or something like that, or s- uh, they beat them forty nine to nothing. No, it was South Florida, the Bulls. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, Central what? Florida. Wait a second. So, okay, you have S- University of Central Florida. They're pretty good. Then you have South Florida, then you have Florida Atlantic, and then you have F- FI Florida. Florida Coast. Isn't Florida, there like a Florida Coast? Yeah, I think that's – I'm not sure. Okay, I'm out. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, why, why would I not follow college football? Because there's hey, too many goddamn let teams. Let me tell you this. Too many goddamn players. Northern Iowa, the little train that could almost upset Iowa, Iowa State, State, right? Yeah, the Cyclone? triple overtime. And didn't uh, didn't uh, the Bulldogs get upset by some team, or wasn't there like a oh, no, uh, Tennessee, Tennessee? Right, got beat by Georgia State. I think it was one of those obscure teams, something like yeah. that. And they got they paid them like nine hundred thousand dollars to play the game, yeah, and get whooped up in their home turf. Yep. But yep. I mean, this is just it's just a charade, right? Yeah, I mean, I, the, the, these I college play, football. I will pay uh, Miami of Ohio to come to Iowa City. Where I'm going to be Saturday. Pay with them. My mom. Hey, Saturday, hey. Rutgers, you're on your own dime Saturday. You, you, that's Big Ten ball Saturday. You got to pay people to, uh, to come to Iowa City, Gene. That's, that's right. That's, a, that's an indictment hey, if I ever heard one. Hey, the Badgers do it too. All, all big schools do it. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, listen, Gene, this is why they broke up the Big Ten yeah. into the yeah. Big Little Tens. And so they, they don't have to play each other. They can play all these, uh, you know, these Division three teams. No, it's not just and a Big pad Ten. their winning record. Well, no, all, everyone all does this shit. All conferences do it, yeah. Well, I know, but that's what I'm saying. At least the Big Ten, you know, you, you thought it right. had some integrity. But they don't want to – see, what they don't want to do is they don't want to give up any home games, and so they'll pay a team a million dollars to come get beat up on. But when you invite a team in, what Tennessee did, and then you lose, that is not good. Yeah. That is – Bad, bad, well, bad. Well, hey, the, the kids don't Poor mind. Morale. The kids don't mind because they get a cut of that money. Oh, wait, they, oh, okay. they, they don't. Yeah, they don't. But it's great to have I'm, college football back. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, it's awesome. Um, 
Sure it is, Gene. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. That's our college football minutes. Um, yeah, why would I not want to watch a, a 49 and nothing uh, oh, drubbing? It's why so would exciting. I not want to watch that? You know oh, what is great. exciting, Gene? What? Baseball. Oh, my God. Baseball, with, uh, especially I, when your team's in it, Gene. I finally thought, I finally, because the Cubs went to New York and they swept the Mets and they beat DeGrom and Syndergaard. I go, this is it. The Cubs finally figured it out. They're good on the road. They go home, they beat up the Brewers. Game one, I go, this is what we've been waiting all year. No, they get shut out two games in a row. Well, Boo. well Boo. we uh, and I watched every inning. Boo. All right, well, Gene, we can uh, maybe slow this down. Oh, okay, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I you uh, didn't like my summary. We're, we're gonna start off with uh, Milwaukee at Chicago. Chicago yeah. Cubs in Wrigley Field, and this is after Chicago won the series, right? In uh, Milwaukee last weekend. Was uh, it last weekend or in no? The week? They they haven't played for a while. No, did they play like just a couple weeks ago? That was maybe the Cardinals. All right, no. well, who cares? Oh yeah, yeah. The Cubs swept, or was that the? They, did they sweep the? Milwaukee? I think it was two out of three. Yeah, yeah whatever. Not, I don't know. Whatever. Who cares? Well, Gene, uh, the week begins with mm. Cole Hamill going yeah. on maternity leave hey, for the, the birth of his child. Uh, my dad never did that. Although he never. Cole missed. Hamill, pitcher. D- Gene, I didn't know he was pregnant. Yeah, players do that now. I don't think my dad. I don't think he ever left the bar. I can't imagine him <laughs> leaving a bar. To, he, there's no way he was in the delivery room. I gotta yeah. ask my well, mom. Well, it, it was a different time back then. Now we yeah, got uh, my dad today would. If my dad was alive today, having kids, he wouldn't. Now we got million dollar pitchers uh, taking the day off, so yeah. uh, they can see little Johnny uh, the the day he's born, but uh, right. not not the rest of the 18 years of mm-hmm. his life when he's uh, pitching. But uh, yeah, uh, Cole Hamill going on maternity leave. Gene, yeah, uh, who's the bigger pussy, him? Or Andrew Luck? Oh, no. You tell me. Wow. Oh, neither. What? What are you doing? All right. There you go. That's Cole not Hamill. good. Cole Hamill, Gene. Gene, I mean, Cole. Oh. Cole, you're not the same 2007. Yeah. All right? Thank the, you. The, you didn't need to take three take days off. Seven. Yeah. But he's wait, a, wait how, you're a pitcher. He's a seven in my book. How's that? By the way, he's a pitcher. What? I seven. mean, I, I thought it was five days between starts. Why is he yeah. taking days off? I don't know. Well, you taking batting practice? Well, sometimes Cole? a woman, do you know much about, I've never had kids. Don't they, they can't, unless you're doing a C-section. I know, I but know. like why, they, why? They, 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 there's a window. Somebody, sometimes why, they miss it. Why take, why take days off? I mean, you're not going to be pitching for five days anyways, right? Well, yeah. Why is this a deal? Why is this an I issue? I don't know. Hey, the, having <laughs> kids is supposed to be a big deal. <laughs> I, I agree. Yeah, well, I'm nothing against maternity, but not when you're a uh, big league ball player. Pitcher. I I was like, please call, come back. He was decent when he came back, at least. And how about Although you plan? How long. about you plan your kids for the winter time, huh, Cole? Oh wait a I, second. You know, no one said Cole Hamels was the smartest bulb in the uh, bullpen. He's right? very smart. He's awesome. Uh, he's a free agent after this year. I wish he would come back to the Cubs, but ooh, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Gene, uh, like you said, the di- the big series this past yeah, weekend, big and series. It started out so well. I thought game that, one. I and the Brewers was on Friday. Well. Uh, all games at uh, eleven twenty a.m. Yeah. Pacific Standard Time. Cubs can still not play Friday night games or Saturday night games unless they get permission. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Well, how do they get permission? They go they around all the houses. They go to the, all the bars no, and ask got, for permission. They got to do with the city council, or it's crazy. If it's is, a, is if, it corrupt by chance? Uh, probably <laughs> Illinois. They they approve gambling, but they haven't in and they still uh, haven't uh, approved, approved night games. Uh, no, but they haven't they haven't figured out uh, gambling should already be going on. I mean, sports betting. Yeah, yeah. So corruption. Sorry. All right. Well, uh, Chicago Cubs opened a lead early against Chase yeah. Anderson, uh, scoring five scoring five runs in the first uh, two innings, and Milwaukee was not able to answer back. They got one run in the top of the eighth, but the Cubs pretty much dominated the Brewers if from start to finish. If you would have said after that game, the Cubs aren't going to score another run, and the Brewers are going to win two out of three after that first game, I would have there's I would I would have bet the farm I would have bought a farm and then I would have bet it bet all of it and I would have yeah. had that farm. But I mean that's but isn't that amazing? Lost it. Well, Gina, it was some dark days, some dark oh. hours. I actually did the move where I was watching this on TV, but I was uh, a little sleepy. Yeah. So I turned I, it. I turned right. to the radio broadcast and I fell asleep and I woke up. Wow. And it was seven. I woke up at the exact end of the game. 
And that's it. That's the ball game. Cubs seven. Brewers. No, not not what you want to hear when you wake up. Jim, right, right. I know. As a Brewers fan, that. right? Yeah. And this uh, Castellanos, what this guy? Castellanos. Castellanos, this guy we were He's talking awesome. last year. We are talking about last week how he had Groundhog's Day syndrome. Right. Where it's always opening day. Hey, I'm up for that. He had two home runs. Yeah. I guess those are opening day home runs, huh? <laughs> Castellanos. <laughs> Castello. <laughs> Where, is, where's, where's Abbott? He <laughs> Huh? He, he, he's so happy to be out of Detroit. Now, the problem with him also is he's such a great Cub. Everybody loves him, but he's a free agent, and Scott Boris is his uh, a, agent. So, oh, this watch could be out. tough. Watch out. Oh, please, Cubs, resign him. He's been so great. So, yeah, the uh, things were not looking good for the Brewers, and I was just about ready to pack it up because the Brewers had lost quite a bit of games. And right, you can only they lose so many games. well at all. The yep. Cardinals beat the crap out of not them. Not at all. They got pretty much, yeah, they lost two out of three against the Cardinals, and I'm like, wow, this is going to be bad. Next day, uh, Brewers mm. quickly score two runs in the top of the first. The only runs... Yeah. Uh, scored for the whole game. It was did Geo start or did was that game? That was uh, no, Davies. Gio. That was that exact yeah, Davies, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, pitched about five yeah. innings. Right. And uh, Cubs did not score any runs. That Two was zero. So disappointing. I was like, "Where's the momentum? Where <laughs> aren't you supposed to have momentum?" And then hey, it's uh, opening day, Gene. It's only and then, it's only and then the, opening and then day. The Cardinals they keep winning. They well, keep winning. And then here's something else that I've not seen once or twice before: the Cardinals and the Reds were playing two double headers in a row. Yeah, yeah. And Saturday, then, Sunday. I've and, never, Gene. Have you ever seen that before? No, I don't remember seeing that. And then I remember I turned on the Cardinals. They were they were losing twice. They came back in the bottom of the ninth, to, yeah. where they're losing in the bottom of the ninth, and they won both times. And I'm thinking, like, thanks a lot, Reds. <laughs> and I'm thinking, wow, you know the Reds, they're a dangerous team. Oh Let, let's see the God. Cardinals drop four games real quick here, at least two games for the yeah. price of one. Uh, nah, no, 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 not at all. In fact, they won three out of four. They're lucky the Reds won one, but it was good lord. Can you imagine yeah. them winning four games in two days? Oh Pretty my crazy gosh. stuff. Yeah, they. I mean, the Cubs. It, it, they they didn't quite bury him, but uh, they put him pretty far back. Uh, it's September, Cubbies. You know, <laughs> they don't. We don't Hello? play. In, we don't play into December. <laughs> Uh, there's only so many games left. Yeah, there's Hello? like 25 games left. Well, last year the Brewers were five games behind in September, uh, and they came back and won. So, there you go. That's why everyone freaking out. And then, and then, uh, in a couple weeks, the Cardinals go to Wrigley for four games, which I'm going go go. to go to two of those. So games, let's see hopefully. you guys split those. That would be really good for the. Uh, yeah, but the Cardinals Brewers. are amazing. They I, well, they keep winning. All right, well, they won uh, three out of four, and then they play again today. So five games in three days. That's pretty crazy. Um, Cubs play the Brewers on Sunday, yesterday. Yikes. And another, would you call these a pitching gem? Not really. Some sort of pitching? The Cubs were not great. By the way, you Darvish was uh, supposed to catch. Yeah. Scratch. Scratch uh, from game three. Now I'm worried about him again. Forearm tightness. Is he he afraid of... uh, Eric Thames, the Korean Godzilla. I I don't know if he knows who that yeah. is. Yeah, but yeah. Is he? You Darvers afraid to pitch against oh the Brewers? Gosh. I don't know. You saw what happened on Game Two. Hey, I'll tell you one guy who's not scared of the Cubs is Yelich. He's the one that homered off Kimbrel. Well, I'm, I'm was, telling you, there's red flag alert. It was he. A, they paid him forty five million for the to be their closer. His ERA's got to be close to nine or ten. Yeah, well, there was one run scored in the yeah, whole game. It was so it was one zero top of the ninth, and uh, Cubs are trying to you know maybe yeah. get something going on the bottom of the ninth. Crimble, Crimble, Kimble comes in with his uh, Raptor arm thing going on. It's not. Uh, I don't. Th- hey, what's more annoying, that or uh, Stoop? Stroop's uh, hat. Uh, uh, no. Uh, How about that? Stroop. Stroop's hat. Stroop's hat. Yeah. Uh, the, right now they're both. Uh, Stroop is in both. Scenarios. Let's combine right. that, huh? Yeah. Anyways, I, walks two batters, or did he hit a guy, too? I, I don't yeah, remember exactly. Yelich comes up. Oh, he just crushed that. Crushes the ball. Oh, Not a lot God. of home runs in this series because right, the right. win was screwed. I don't think there was any win yesterday, actually. But uh, these still, that was. Yelich crushes the ball and puts it in a spot where no of these dirty-ass Cubs fans can pick it up and throw oh, it back into the field. wait a second. So, with authority. <laughs> oh, my sends God. Sends it 
in the Wrigley uh, Lambor. Yeah. I don't know Lambor. He, he sent it into a, a a place that you don't see many balls get hit. Yeah, he really crushed. So three run home run. That makes you worried about. Wouldn't you be worried about our closer? He get <laughs> he's given up so many home runs. He's only been with the Cubs a couple months, and he's given up a ton of home runs. Yeah, not what. Yeah, why give like an old guy twenty million know. dollars hey, a listen, season? What about the Red Sox? He didn't even close out the World Series for him. So I don't. Know. Yeah, I mean, there's not. I mean, this guy is in Mar- Mariano Rivera for God's sakes, Jesus. And we got him three years. So, oh boy, that yep. was a that was a rough one. Those two days. Yeah. All right. So the Brewers win four zero. Cubs. So the uh, NL Central. I guess we already talked about the Cardinals. Yeah, but the NL Cardinals, Central. Cardinals are really good. Three games above Chicago. Milwaukee, six games below the Cardinals. The wild card now. It's uh, Washington, four and a half games. I don't know if anyone's catching them. No. Because they lose a no, bunch of games. I don't think so. Philly's got a the, – the wild card's going to come down to uh, – And then Philly, Chicago yeah, has the second spot on the wild card. And then Philly, two and a half games below. And Milwaukee, three games right. alone. Right, so Milwaukee's so. got a decent chance. I mean, look, at the Cubs go to Milwaukee for four games this week. So, Yeah, I mean, I, I hey, listen, I, I still think Milwaukee, because, you know. The, the Mets got a chance, they, too. They've been pulling, uh, they brought up a lot of bullpen guys. Yeah. So, yeah, the Milwaukee starters might not be uh, that great. But because uh, they have all these extra arms in the bullpen because of the, uh, you know, expanded rosters and all that, I think you're going to see a lot of these crazy pitching situations where some guy goes like only three innings yeah. and then the rest is bullpen. That's what day. the Cubs did yesterday. And uh, yeah, I think uh, I think Craig Council when he's back against the wall and he has to basically win every single game. I know. That's when he's most dangerous. So I know. Uh, I know. I think. But don't count Brewers. Can, how long can the Cardinals keep winning every game like this? Well, I mean, they've been. They, it's amazing what they're doing. So I give them credit. Oh, I hate to do it, but I have to give them credit. Good job, Cardinals. But please don't keep winning. Kiss my ass. Yeah, Cardinals. kiss our ass, Cardinals. <laughs> They're playing the Giants. I thought I thought when the Cubs passed them and then the Brewers won the division last year, maybe the Cardinals would take a few years to be crappy. No. I don't know how they do Man, it. They're playing they're, four games against the Giants. I know. Then they go to Pittsburgh, who's just oh my God. absolutely terrible. They could win like ten yeah. games in a row. Absolutely. Like beyond this. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. All right, so it's gonna be that wild card. So how about how about yeah. hey, how about Brewers? Well, Washington's gonna host a wild card. How about I, Brewers and Chicago for that wild card yeah, spot? Yeah, yeah. How about we do that again? Huh? If you could, if you said to me, uh, "You're guaranteed the wild card," I say I would say no. I'm gonna take my chances to win the division. Right? Okay. There I say. Yeah, I think I think because if you win hey. the wild card, then you got to go play the Dodgers. Yikes. Oh well. No, yeah. I I rather play them. It's a five game series, right? Or are they yeah, all seven? Five games. I'd rather play the Dodgers in a five game series than a. Um... Okay, well there you go. Yep. So that's why. Yeah. Okay. All right, and then uh, by the way, uh, Jonathan Lucroy on the Cubs. I I we yeah. I probably talked about this before, but damn, I keep on forgetting he's on the uh, Cubs. Yeah, now. yeah. Man. He's been really good for him too, because Wilson Contreras is out. I think they're going to keep him. Well, they'll keep him on the roster in September, but. He 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 could make the playoff roster. Yeah. I don't know. Well, uh, I, I should say he's playoff. a veteran. Yeah, let's just win. How about just winning one game? Cup. How about scoring a run? Okay, let's. Do yeah. That. How about let's do that? Score a run first. How about get right, around the bases, huh? Yeah. How about that. You know what home plate looks like, Cubs? It's <laughs> home. They call it home plate. Right, and then really quick, home. Speaking about the Giants, Giants wave Scooter Jeanette. Wow, really? Former Brewer, former Red. The one yeah, that hit wave five him. home runs in one game? Yeah, <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. He has his ups and the downs. What's happened to him? I guess. All right, and then uh, some other uh, Midwest baseball news. Kansas City Royals are now on the block with owner David Glass reportedly in advanced negotiations to sell the team for more than $1 billion to, yeah. a, to a group led by Indians minority owner John Sherman. Mm. Gene, if you would have, uh, someone would have told you uh, in the 1980s, I mean, this is after. Uh, how right, about this? Right. How about in early 90s? This yeah. is after the 84. Did they go sure. to the World Series in 85, uh, they won, right? They won in 80. When they win? 86, 80, 85. They beat the Cardinals. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, 80. It must have been 85. Let's go to the, the, the 90s. Oh, it's, I think not, it was 85. Someone would have told you. <laughs> Some someone would have told you, uh, guess how much the Kansas City Royals would wow. be worth in 2019? You'd be like, I don't know, twenty bucks. Yeah, yeah. Twenty five. Yeah. Twenty five, ninety seven. 
one billion dollars. That is crazy. That's really uh, and they're a bad amazing. team. Right? Yeah, I mean, but they have a nice stadium. They put some money into it, so I hope that comes yeah. with the stadium. Well, Gene, I you know for the <laughs> for the sake of uh, Kansas City fans, yeah, I hope this guy is just not an Indian giver. Oh boy, okay. I don't think he could say that anymore. He's a minority owner of the Indians, Gene. I should probably went back, John they Sherman. You know, the Indians. This is the first year they can't use Chief Wahoo. Oh really? <laughs> They had, to they, they had to ease. They had to ease the fan base into it. Well, they well, just they, uh, their official merchandise can't have Chief Wahoo, and they used to have it on their thing. Oh, so they don't have it on the hats anymore? Nope, it's totally gone. Huh? Wow. Yeah, no patches on the. But I mean, you know, if you're. But it's on the arms, though, okay. right? Is it? Nope, it's completely gone. Oh wow. Yep. Well, good for kids. Do you think the City. name? Do you think the name will be? Ch- I bet the name will be changed within fifteen years, right? Yeah, you keep thinking that, and I mean, for, and Washington for, Redskins. First, they came for Chief Wahoo, and then who's next? Yeah. Team? Hey, there's a school out here, Arcadia, and I was there last week, Arcadia High School. They're the Apaches. I mean, what the hell? How well, did they not change their name? I mean, that is an attack helicopter, though, right? I mean, no, you know. their mascot's <laughs> a, a warrior Indian. They got them all over the school. No. They're not. Yeah, it could be a helicopter, but uh, <laughs> that w- no, no helicopter on the uh, no. thing. No? All right. Well, Gene, let's uh, get the big uh, NFL season starts this Thursday. Very, very exciting. Very this exciting. is really cool. Really. Uh, and cool. when are you? So you were definitely going back to the Midwest, right? I'm when, going. I'm going to be in Chicago. I'm going to get there at one o'clock Thursday, and I'm going to the game Thursday night. I just don't want to pay four hundred, but I'm. Uh, I at this point, I'll pay three hundred. Well, Gene, that hurts to say. Gene, you might get lucky because Jay Cutler is coming back. To I know, Soldier I know. Field. I I saw that. I heard him on the. I He's going to be at the ESPN game in Chicago. Gene, yeah. I, I think ticket prices might go way, way down now that I that now that Jay Cutler is in the, right, in right. the room. Yeah, I will be there. I'm going to be there. So either way. Yeah, I'm going to just bite the bullet. What the hell? You know what? I was thinking about money, and and then my mom my mom called me uh, yesterday and says there's a tree that you share with your neighbor, and they have to take it down, and it costs a thousand dollars. And I was like, what? <laughs> and then, <laughs> but the, I'm splitting it with two neighbor. I don't know. What? It's a three way tree, what? so my share is three hundred. What? They have like three different guys with a chainsaw. Or I, like yeah, what? I I how much? What? Doesn't it seem like a lot of money? Yeah, that's like Cal. That's like Los Angeles money, right? I mean, yeah. a tree. What the hell? Yeah. How, so. what, what are they cutting? <laughs> Gene, first of all, I don't get some know. receipts. I and Do I go. Re- I go. Who's doing this? Oh, they got somebody lined up. I was like, what? Yeah, get that guy in California. Doesn't he own this house? Uh, yeah, just tell him that it's it, three hundred apiece. He's got yeah, he's got it taken care of. Uh, so I guess I don't know. He's he's in the movies. Yeah, he's making that movie money. That's right. right. Jeez. So <laughs> if I'm gonna so I I I pay three hundred to help chop down a tree. I might as well pay three hundred to go see yeah. the Bears Packers. Sh- sh- see Mitch Trubisky. Oh, he might get lit Who, up. Who's got more personality, that tree or Mitch <laughs> yeah, Trubisky? The, the tree. <laughs> Mitch is. He's such a company man. He his. Have you ever heard him interviewed? Nah, is he Tim Debo Boring. but worse? Oh, he's terrible. Is he like I, Russell Wilson but white? Yeah, except Russell Wilson used to seem like he had personality. Now he's a terrible interview. But Trubisky, ooh, he just says you know he just says really generic stuff. Yeah. Who's good? Color used to be really funny, but he was so surly. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So I guess we should do a pre. Aaron Rodgers is funny too. Who, who you got? Who you got? Packers, Bears. Who you got, Gene? I, I Packers, because I think <laughs> you know what. Here's the problem: Trubisky hasn't played one snap in preseason, and wow, it's not yeah. like he's proven anything. And then, if it comes down to a field goal, look out, Bears. Their their kickers never kicked. Uh, uh, in a game, in a, right? In a game before. So. Uh, they kept that that P- Patero or something like that, Pizarro. P- Panero? Pan- yeah, Panero? They, they gave up a draft pick. How about the Vikings gave up Panero? a number five pick for a guy, and then they number caught three him. pick? What? Oh no, that was the Jets. I'm thinking. Yeah, right? the fifth round pick. Yeah, they caught it. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't do that with the uh, kicker. I don't know. Especially when you get some uh, female soccer player to do it just as well. Oh huh? uh, yeah. How about that? Yeah. Who, by the way, who is Carly, Carly Lloyd? Is she? She a- was on that World Cup team. Okay. But she's 37 years old, I think. Well. Mm. I mean, it's gonna be tough, right? I mean, who's gonna want? Yeah. Is she gonna tackle people? I mean, oh do, my God! Do kickers even tackle people they'll just, now? In the off season, though, someone will give her a child just for 
publicity reasons. Good, good community. What if she breaks the leg? I don't she breaks know. the leg. No female will ever. ever well, play. that's what someone said. What would Endama can sue? I mean, he doesn't <laughs> care about who he. He'll he'll just draw a penalty just to yeah you know. mess with her. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's just go through some of these other games yeah. and uh, go buy, uh, wage your money accordingly. Well, the Packers are a total wild card, don't you think? Or do you have any anticip- – I mean, the expectations for the Bears are so sky high. By the high. way, the uh, Cousin Sal thought the Bears would be under. I think nine, I think their uh, win-loss would be uh, nine and a half. Right. I think he said under, and then Bill Bill was all in on oh, the I Bears. I haven't listened to that yet. Yeah, so you may enjoy Well, and also the one. Bears, they're only three-point favorites, which means – Vegas considers them and Packers even. Doesn't that seem odd? Yeah. Well, I, I think the Packers are pretty much, uh, yeah, like you said, unknowable right now. Who hey, knows? Is uh, their coach going to be in a, uh, a, like on a tractor? Or <laughs> He's he going to be on a walking? scooter. Yeah, on a scooter. How about, uh, no, uh, Brian, uh, what's the, Brian Lethwich is going to be carrying him on, oh, on yeah. the sideline. By- oh, Byron yeah. Le- Lethwich, yeah. All right, so then Chiefs, J- uh, I'm going Packers, by the way. Yeah. All right, Chiefs. But but by the way, the uh, refs will do something, so there'll be a close game. Someone will do something, so that I don't they'll make know. It a close I mean, game. the Bears. We'll see. It'll be it'll be it'll be a great atmosphere. And and Soldier Field is not very big, so that's why tickets are so expensive. Yep. Yeah. All right, Chiefs Jaguars. I mean, easy oh, win for the Chiefs, Chiefs, right? Crush them. I love <laughs> the Chiefs. It. I I like the Chiefs a lot. I'd love to see them win the Super Bowl. Uh, and then uh, it's same with the Browns. Yeah. Go for the jugular on the Jaguars, huh? How about that? I don't like uh, Jacksonville. I don't like what they represent or what they stand for or what they're trying to do. No thanks. Not nothing at all. Nothing, nothing. about them. Nope. All right, Falcons, Vikings. Oh, Vikings! I think because a lot of people think they might win the division, or they might be bad. But I mean, what's with Kirk Cousins? <laughs> Uh well hey he's worried about ass sweat on the ball oh so uh, he's got other issues. I right would now. be worried. I don't know the Vikings. I, I I like I would love to see them win a Super Bowl as well. But I mean not everyone can win. But uh they've suffered enough. But I don't know. I think Falcons have a good chance. They're an indoor team. Yeah. So, uh, I I think Falcons might win that one. Okay. All right, Titan Browns. Titans Browns. I'm gonna be watching that Go game. Go Browns. And this is that. This is. I mean, this is another thing that the Browns. The fans are so excited. This could be a huge disappointing year if Baker's not. Well, good. it's definitely the right team you want to play against. The Titans. I don't and think I got be Odell on my fantasy team. Oh yeah. My quarterback's Aaron Rodgers. And, okay. But does this conflict of interest? I have Aaron Rodgers as quarterback, but I have the Bears defense. Uh, yeah, you might uh, have some conundrums mm. going around. Oh boy, uh, this weekend. So, all right, Bengals Seahawks. Uh, let's uh, go Bengals, right? Yeah, go Cincinnati. Cincinnati is a great. I like Cincinnati, but their team. I don't. That's a mess. Their ownership. They should sell it. Well, they can't. It's a <laughs> family run. It's kind of like the Bears family run. Yeah. All right, and then uh, Lions Cardinals. Gosh, I. <laughs> uh, I don't like either team. Yeah, who wants to watch this game? I mean, that's a dud. And I, I would love to see Detroit be good one day, but I don't like Matt Patricia. I don't, and they're a mess. Then Martha Ford, she's because because uh, 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 Virginia McCaskey, who owns the Bears, she's ninety four. Isn't Martha Ford? Isn't that her name? She's in their nineties as the 90s, well. Yeah. She's like, oh, we're gonna win in my lifetime. I was like, well, you better eat your vitamins. <laughs> All right, and then uh, Steeler Patriots on Sunday Night Football. That That's a, awesome. That should be a good game. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, Broncos Raiders. They got this uh, double Monday Night yeah. thing again. How did uh, the Vikings not? Vikings were always part of that Monday Night doubleheader. Who did they got? Oh, the Raiders. The yeah. Let me. Uh, sorry. Let me go back here. Oh, wrong week. Oh yeah, the Broncos Raiders. That's always on there. Mm. And then uh, Texans Saints in the morning. What the hell are the Texans? They. They're they're amazing. They well, gave they gave to give Jonathan Clowney one? for a number three, right, and then yeah, two then backup they, players. That's and then crazy. They gave a bunch of for uh, Lumsill, right? For Lum- Tunsil. Tunsil, right? He just he was a 14th overall pick a couple years ago. They gave up two number ones. That's yeah. crazy. And and they're paying Jadavian Clowney. They're paying seven million dollars of his salary. Yeah, yeah. They, that's another. He's point. a great. Oh, I don't understand that one. Well, I guess Bill O'Brien is. Uh, going he shouldn't for it be right the now. GM. 
He's a he's Penn barely State. a coach. Former Penn State yeah. coach, right? Yeah. I guess when you're playing with house money, Joe uh, Paterno's yeah. money, Joe uh, Pa's money. Oh, my gosh. You're he going should. for it. Yeah. Mm. All right, there you go. Uh, week one. So, Gene, are you going to be – maybe we'll do a show after the game. Yeah. Maybe we'll do that. Probably it's going to be though. a sports weekend because I'm going to go uh, the Bears-Packers, and then Saturday I'll be at the – I'm taking my mom to the Iowa-Rutgers game. And then hopefully on Sunday I'll see the Brewers Cubs in Milwaukee. Oh wow! Unless the Cubs are quite a bit terrible. Lost eight in a row. Yeah, then I'll be too depressed to go watch them play. So I, I like I like going to Milwaukee though. Are you gonna right. be back in Los Angeles on Monday then? But I got what? the Monday. Monday is a big night because Monday I have the Hollywood Bowl. Oh, okay. Hart and Joan Jett, look out. Okay. Well, what was the last uh, hot? Didn't you just go to the show last night or something like that? What was uh, that Ringo Starr and his All Star Band. Oh yeah. No, no Beatles. They're not playing any Beatles songs. Yeah, he did. He did. He did okay. Yellow Submarine with a little help. But this is cool. <laughs> so he's his All Star Band. He had a guy from Santana, Colin Hay from Men at Work. All these guys who great and great show. And then for the encore, with a little help from my friends, he brought out Joe Walsh of the Eagles. He brought out Niels Lofgren of the East Street Band. Right. And then he sure. had Edgar Winter. Oh, he was great because he's celebrating his 30th anniversary. And he lives in L.A. A bunch of Who, these guys. Ringo? Love. Ringo lives in Beverly Hills. Ringo's 30th anniversary of what? Oh, of his all-star band. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought I saw that on Twitter. <laughs> he's not a great singer. May yeah. I say that? Yeah. But uh, it was really great. I've seen him before, but, yeah. Pretty great. Is he uh, we get the one? Uh, him and Paul McCartney, right? Yeah, Paul McCartney. Last Beatles. Uh, yeah, and Paul McCartney was in L.A. Uh, about a month ago, and Ringo got up on stage and sang with him. I was hoping Paul McCartney, because Paul McCartney, uh, he has a house out here, I think. I was hoping he would he would show up and get up on stage, but um, you'd have to pay him twenty million yeah, dollars. He's not going to just waste it on the right. Hollywood Bowl. Yeah. No, this was the Greek theater. Oh, the Greek theater, yeah. I mean, the Greek theater is much smaller than the Hollywood. Ringo's band can't fill the Hollywood Bowl, I don't think, <laughs> unfortunately. Man, a Beatle cannot fill I don't think so. They're playing the at Hollywood his, Bowl. Hollywood Bowl is 18,000 seats, and Ringo's uh, barely fell in at 6,000. But he was great. He was awesome. All right, well, there you go. All right, well, uh, we'll have to see what happens. I'll be on the road for – it'll be great. Yeah, and Gene will give us all the updates and all the details and all the good stories. I about, wonder uh, how many people – are going to wear Packers stuff. I'm going to kind of go neutral at yeah, the game. Wear, cause wear a bunch of Cubs stuff, Iowa I, stuff? No, I'm going to wear an Iowa shirt. I, I want to kind of go near because I don't want to get – I don't know. It, it I don't know how tough of an environment it, it's going to be. <laughs> all right, Fair there you go. Well, Gene, <laughs> leave, leave, him, leave him with the cliffhanger, all right? We just don't know how I it's going to I don't mind go. wearing Cubs stuff in Milwaukee. That's because there's so many Cub fans. But I don't know what it's going to be like in Chicago. Yep. So we'll yep. see. All right, we will definitely see. So, all right, so for Gene Steichen, my name is uh, Chris Stotts. It's been the Midwest Sports Show. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Love you. Oh, my God. That was great. I, how much would you pay? Like, I would pay subpar.